Alchemy gets its cloud usage under control. Let's look at how they did that. So welcome to the Cloud Computing Insider. This channel explores the ins and outs of cloud computing without an agenda are following into the narrative set by big tech marketing. We look at what works, what does not, and the actual value of this technology in a balanced and information forward way. If that interests you, please subscribe, like, and comment. I'm your host, David Linthicum, author, speaker, and B-list geek. Let's get started. So this is another instance of a company actually um, providing a public case study in terms of how they're solving their cloud issues, which we saw with Geico a few sh shows ago where they uh, showed they did some repatriation, utilized some on-premise premises uh, equipment, and got to a better value point uh, than they did in using cloud. That doesn't mean that the cloud is bad, but for them, it was probably, probably contraindicated uh, in a few of the applications that they have. We have another one here today with Alchemy. So today we're going to take a deep dive into this case study um, from Alchemy Technologies, which is a company that's been navigating the complex water of cloud computing for years. And they came forward and they recently managed to regain control of runaway cloud costs that, as you can imagine, can have a significant impact on their bottom line. So buckle up, seasoned cloud veterans and newcomers alike, we're going to unpack Alchemy's journey and shared critical and share critical insights for your own cloud strategies. Let's get started. So this is based on a recent article by Matt Asher. He's a senior reporter at CIO Dive. I've been on his article, interviewed for his articles a few times. He does a great job and is linked in the description. So what happened at Alchemy? Like so many organizations pushing into the cloud, they saw scalability and excess access to innovative solutions as the primary value of using this technology. However, as their CIO, Katie Proto, points out, that initial excitement led to staggering cloud bills, hundreds of millions of dollars in spend over the years. Now, that's a wake-up call if I ever heard one. So there was a turning point. Alchemy was riding high on the wave of cloud benefits, but suddenly realized they were spending money faster than they could track it. And this according to their CEO, Prodi, we were running lots of workloads in the cloud, but there wasn't a lot of oversight. This led to a true turning point, triggering a reassessment of their cloud strategy. So in 2022, they implemented a comprehensive strategic overhaul called Project Cyrus, especially following their acquisition of Linode, a private cloud solution. This acquisition wasn't just a checkbox. It was a pivotal move that helped them gain better control over their workloads and highlighted inefficiencies tied to their heavy usage of hyperscalers. So many organizations continuously grapple with understanding and managing their cloud bills effectively. And Alchemy's journey sheds a light on that and really areas where we can learn from their success. So optimizing cloud usage is about more than just cutting costs. It's about transformation. Alchemy saved 40% in the first year of Project Cyrus thanks to targeted actions. They reduced their public cloud footprint, which not only saved money, but improved their overall cloud efficiency. This approach didn't mean severing ties with all hyperscalers. Instead, it involved making them more deliberate choices based on business outcomes. That's key to this. Ultimately, we have to understand how the business benefit needs to exist in utilizing their, re their resources. And if it doesn't exist at a level that we, we think it should exist, we have to make some adjustments. And that's what they did at Alchemy. An important aspect of cutting costs was tweaking workload management. And Alchemy executive stated, we were over-provisioning, indicating that many workloads had not been reviewed since their deployment. By refocusing on what's truly necessary, they unearth inefficiencies inherent to cloud's flexible pay-as-you-go billing structure. This is a critical insight for all of us operating in the cloud routinely assess workloads. They conducted an IT audit and cultivated a cloud culture where engineers were encouraged, and this is a big one, to take ownership of their resources. In other words, they looked at what they were using and what they needed to use, and those are two different things. 
and they had to put in accountability for utilizing those resources, including developers and cloud engineers that were le that were leveraging these things and obviously over provisioning them in many instances. That's a key piece of information to take away from this. So as organizations evolve in their cloud strategies, they're not just looking for a magic bullet to reduce costs, they're on a learning curve. The trend of organizations pursuing best practices around FinOps or financial operations for the cloud is picking up speed. Alchemy isn't alone in this. They're building tools that monitor and optimize workloads while trying while tying costs directly to specific cloud deployments. This focused approach is something every cloud strategist should consider. So as cloud usage surge, surges globally, Gartner expects it will grow by 21.5% to a whopping, get this, 723 billion this year in 2025, understanding the cost and patterns of consumption that become more critical to our success with cloud computing. Alchemy's journey serves for a roadmap for others. They reduced expenses by 75% simply by using reserved instances instead of relying on on-demand services or a la carte. Now, that's a strategy I'd want to implement. They're leveraging cheaper technology to get to the exact same end, and therefore it's returning more value back to the business, and that's what it's all about. Another element of Alchemy's success, collaboration. Uh, the cost-cutting measures involved a joint effort between finance, procurement, and engineering teams. It wasn't just about one division doing the heavy lifting. It was a concerted effort to push across the entire organization the responsibilities of managing cloud costs. As technology continues to grow in complexity, this kind of teamwork is vital, and it's typically missing for many of the enterprises today. So moving forward, as we see even more organizations navigating the cloud landscape, let's remember that overcoming challenges requires a proactive mindset, continuous evaluation of costs, and education for those involved in cloud decision-making. Alchemy's experience is a prime example of the need to rethink our strategies. They learned that capacity isn't free even when it's running on our platform. That's a key takeaway for all cloud leaders. Understand their journey, take lessons that you can implement within your own enterprise. That's a wrap on today's discussion about Alchemy Technologies and their journey into addressing cloud costs. I hope you found these insights useful for your own strategies. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for the latest in cloud computing trends. Also, check out my other stuff including my AI Insights Innovation Show out on Nukim Research, my 100 plus LinkedIn learning courses out there, my InfoWorld blog, and my fully mentored generative AI architecture class out on Go Cloud Careers. And finally, check out my book, An Insider's Guide to Cloud Computing. So until next week, you guys stay very safe. Cheers.